marks 50 years since the assassination of John F. Kennedy. The search for the truth of what happened that day has covered a lot of ground. But few people realize that FBI investigators became intrigued by a possible Canadian connection. Tonight, Only in Canada takes you to the Manitoba capital, where Cameron McIntosh tracked down the Winnipeg airport incident. On that fateful day in Dallas where a young president lost his life, the headlines reached around the globe. Winnipeg was no different, but certainly no one expected the search for answers to reach here. Uh, I happen to sit at this table here. Just a few months later, salesman Richard Giesbrecht was sitting in this lounge in Winnipeg's new airport. Waiting on a client, he was quickly distracted by a conversation at the next table. And I happened to overhear these men uh, discussing uh, names like Oswald. Uh, in this 1968 CBC interview, Giesbrick says he heard two men discussing inside details of the Kennedy assassination. One, he said, appeared to be wearing a wig and false eyebrows. It was clear to you that something sinister was going on? Yes, these men uh, uh, weren't actors. And my first reaction was, uh, well, yeah, you know, people think they hear a lot of things. In 1964, Don Newman was a young reporter in Winnipeg. He spoke with Giesbrecht after the FBI came to see him. Newman's story, first depicted in the Winnipeg Free Press, and now in his memoirs, is chilling. And while he's listening, he looks over and there's a big kind of hulking guy looking at him and trying to signal the people that are talking about the assassination that they're being overheard. Giesbrick claimed that man tailed him through the airport, blocking him from going to an RCMP office. He says he shook him loose in a flight lounge. Oh, he was absolutely convinced, and he was really scared. I mean, he wasn't making this up. The FBI didn't do anything, but three years later, a man with false eyebrows would surface. Who are you scared of, Dave? Me? Everybody. Prosecutor Jim Garrison, portrayed by Kevin Costner in the film JFK, suspected David Ferry knew of a conspiracy. I knew Oswald. He was in my Civil Air Patrol unit. Ferry was a pilot and associate of Lee Harvey Oswald. He wore wigs and false eyebrows to conceal a medical condition. He died before Garrison could prove anything. Giesbrecht recognized this picture in the Winnipeg Tribune as the man he saw at the airport. I'm uh, certain that there is a definite link now. Giesbrecht was invited by Garrison to New Orleans to testify, but never did go. Around then, a lot of people connected to the Kennedy story were turning up dead. Have you been threatened? Uh, I'd rather not comment there. Richard Giesbrecht died in Winnipeg in 1990. His story never fully proven, nor totally discounted. Today his family says his story died when he died. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.